Hey everybody and welcome to Create with Lori. I'm Lori and I'm the teen librarian here at Manlius Library and today we're going to do acrylic pour paintings but we're going to do it with a twist. We're going to do our house colors from Hogwarts. You can pick whatever colors you want. I'm going to show you how to do house colors from Hogwarts. For example, if you are Gryffindor, you're going to want red and yellow and perhaps some gold. If you are in Ravenclaw, I'm using the movie colors, not the not the book colors, simply because I don't have bronze paint in the books. Ravenclaw is blue and bronze. In the movies, Ravenclaw is blue and silver or blue and gray. So I'm going to be using these colors for Ravenclaw. You're also going to want some white and black paint, depending on what colors you're using. You're going to need a cup, a small cup, and a craft stick for each color, along with one or two larger cups for, for um, doing the actual pour. You're going to need a little bit of water and either a teaspoon or like I'm going to use a dropper. And then finally, glue. You can use Elmer's glue all, you can use school glue, any kind of white or clear glue will work. Of course, you'll need a canvas. And then I've got a set up here with an old baking rack inside a box to catch all of the paint and let the canvas dry and drip off of this. I've covered my workspace with paper and for the final touch to protect and seal your painting, you're going to want a can of clear coat. You can leave it if you want, but I recommend clear coating it at the end. I think that's everything we need. Let's okay, get started. I've got my canvas on the baking rack and it's in the box. I'm going to set that aside for now, along with the two cups I'm going to use to pour the colors. Let me show you how to mix your colors. You want a separate cup for each one. And your proportions are equal amounts of paint and glue. I've got my glue poured into this little cup because it's easier to deal with. Um, equal amounts of paint and glue, and then about a quarter again that of water. You wanna make it kind of pancake batter texture. So just judge it by eye, depending on how thick your paint is. This paint is fairly thin, but the white and black that I have is a thicker paint. So it will depend. You want it kind of pancake batter, um, not flavor, pancake batter texture when you're done. So we're gonna start with the blue. And I'm just gonna take that out. We did this a few couple months ago, but we poured on garden stones and we didn't have to use very much paint for that one. This on the canvases is going to take more paint. So we're using bigger cups. Okay. So approximately equal amounts paint and glue. It's approximate. And then about a quarter again that of water. So I'm going to do a couple of droppers of water. You want it to pour fairly easy. If it's a real thick mixture, it won't spread on your canvas, but if it's too thin, it'll just all run off. So mix that up nice and blended. Okay. You want to make sure you get it all mixed. I like to use the clear cups to do this because you can see on the sides. Okay, that's a pretty good consistency. If you find that it's too thick or too thin, add a little more water or add a little bit more paint and glue. Okay, there's the blue. Now we're going to do the gray. As I said, 
in the books, Raven, some of you may know, in Harry Potter, we're talking about in the books, Harry Potter, um, Hogwarts house colors, Ravenclaw is actually bronze. They changed it for the movies to gray, which works for my purposes since I don't have any bronze paint. So I'm using the movie colors. Let me add a little bit of water to that. Mix it up. Okay, got my colors, including my black. They're all nice and short, and they're kind of pancake batter consistency. If they're too thick, the paint won't spread on the canvas. But if they're too thin, when you pour them into your cups for pouring, they'll just blend into one. And then this is my white, which is a little thicker. Right. And then this is a silver glitter paint, which is really mostly clear with silver glitter in it. It's looking very cloudy because of the, of the glue. But remember, your glue is going to dry clear. So what's going to shine through is the colors of the paint that you choose. Okay, so we've got our colors. Now we build our pouring cup, which is this. And all you're going to do is take your colors one by one in whatever combination and order that you want and pour them like so. And we're going to start with a little bit of white. I'm setting these sticks aside just in case I need to mix up more colors. And then some blue. some silver. And you're just going to keep going with your colors in whatever order you want, however you want to do it. And they layer right on there. Here, a little bit of last minute gray, top it off with silver. And some white. Okay, so you've got your cup of paint and you can see it's all layered. You can see inside that it's all kind of swirled. Now, we set our paint cups aside. Hang on to them though, because you might need to mix more paint. Some of them might still have paint in them. We've got our canvas. And we've got our cup of paint. What we're gonna do is take your cup and set it like that. And take your canvas and put it on top. And then very carefully, very carefully flip it and set it down. You want to, you want it some kind of setup so that when you pick this up and the paint runs off your canvas, it doesn't run all over the place, which is why I've got it in this cardboard box. You could use a disposable cake pan 
or a cookie sheet lined with tin foil or something, whatever you have. Okay, so now the paint, you can see it's starting to come out. So we're just going to lift. And you can use your fingers to kind of nudge the paint in the direction you want it to go. Okay, you want to make sure it gets to all the corners. The good thing about this is it's acrylics and it's washable. Okay, there it goes. Make that drip to that corner. Okay. Now, you've got a couple of corners that you've touched. You can also just tip it like this. Bring it down to those corners. Or you can grab one of your paint sticks. Or you can take your cup and just pour. There's always going to be some extra in on the places where you had to touch. Or, okay. Take a look and make sure it's spread across the whole thing. If there's a place where you don't like how it looks, you can always put more paint on it. I really like this one. So what I'm gonna do, whoop, I painted this box right to the thing. What I'm gonna do is grab it. You'll notice I covered my whole workspace with paper this time. And set that aside. We've got all this paint in the bottom of the box. What do we do with that? We take another canvas and we flip it upside down and we do that. Don't, don't smoosh it, just place it and then pick it up and do it again. Don't drag it through the paint, just placing it down and picking it back up again. Okay? Until you get it where you want it. Almost. That should, that should do it. We got one corner there. Okay. And like the other one, if there's a corner that you've touched that you want to touch up the paint with, or bubbles, we can pop, you can use a craft stick or a paintbrush to grab paint from there, or you can just pour it right out of the cup. I'm just going to pour it out of the cup. There's just one spot, I think. Okay. And then if you have extra paint, you can always do a design. All right, now, if you over poured and you have a lot of paint in the bottom of your box, you can go ahead and keep going, or you can just throw it away or recycle it or wash it, however you wanna do it. We are going to let these dry completely, and then the final step is to spray them with the clear coat to seal it and protect it. So there you have it, House Colors Acrylic Pours. Or of course you can use whatever colors that you want. I just happen to choose the colors of House Ravenclaw from Hogwarts. I'll show you the finished product in just a second. They're still wet. They take a really long time to dry and you wanna kind of keep an eye on them for the first bit of time that they're drying because sometimes bubbles will form. And if you take a toothpick, you can pop the bubble and the paint will flow into the space that's left by the bubble. Or you can just leave it. 
Once they're completely dry, overnight, let them dry overnight. They'll continue to drip, so you wanna leave them in a safe place. Um, once they're dry completely, you can use that acrylic spray. Just the clear coat, and it'll seal and protect your artwork, okay? I hope that you have enjoyed today's Create with Lori. I'm Lori, I'm the teen librarian at Manlius Library, coming to you from my bright green teen room. If you're a teen in the Manlius Library Summer Reading Program, your secret code today is PLAYTIME. Capital P, L-A-Y-T-I-M-E, PLAYTIME. Head on over to, the cre to your account on Read Squared, the app or the website, and click on the Create with Lori mission and enter that secret code on today's activity to get your points. If you're not signed up for the summer reading program and you're a teen, ages 12 to 19 in central New York, head over to our website at manliestlibrary.org and get signed up today. It's not too late. There's lots of things to do and some pretty fabulous prizes at the end of the summer. Thanks for joining me. Again, I'm Lori. You can find me here on the Manliest Library YouTube channel every Thursday at four o'clock for a new Create with Lori project. Have a great weekend. Happy reading.